Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick little tool holder here. So this thing here is just a, a soffit vent. Normally you get these for about $5 Canadian at the hardware store. I've just made two strips of wood on a little thin piece on the back. Now this is the cheaper version. Um, and then I'll just set that in there. I've pre-drilled some holes along here that line up with these. And then I can just drop my tools in there and they'll hold up. You can see how they go on an angle. I actually don't care for that, but this is a fairly simple way. Now this is the same thing as the last one, only I've drilled holes, pre-drilled holes in different locations than the ones that are on this piece. And I've attached it just to two pieces. Now what I like about this one compared to the wooden one, compared to this one here, is the fact that um, if you are at your bench and you have stuff that falls onto this, it falls right through it. This one here will actually keep, you know, it'll keep it on. Um, the other thing I do is I mount this onto my wall or onto a vertical surface. And then again, anything that falls into it just falls right through it, which is great. So uh, this one here is slightly more expensive because these two plastic pieces cost about $5 each, but it is a little bit better. Now you could just drill a whole bunch of holes in whatever you want, like a piece of wood, and it would do the same thing. Only this already has all the holes lined up. One thing that you want to make sure that you do is this has a, a bevel on it. Oops, I guess I should find the hole there. Um, this piece of plastic has a bevel on the inside. You can see it right here. Let's see if I can get it. You can see this bevel here. And I keep that to the inside so that the bottom bevel points up and the top bevel points down. So they're both pointing inwards. And you have to make sure that they, li they line up. But this case here, everything that goes in here will stand perfectly vertical. Just like that. You can hang it. Put it on an angle. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better. Um, I could hang it straight up and everything's going to stay in there. So I could put a couple screws right through here and screw this right to my wall um, and it would secure it. Now what I'm going to actually do on mine is I'm going to put a wedge on the bottom so it's on a bit of an angle. But simple, easy little tool holder, you know, $10 in materials plus a few screws, but that'll hold pretty much all your flex shaft tools that you need. And the holes are large enough to go all over. Uh-oh.